Okay. If this is where we get the chrome, just recently. Where's it mean? What does it mean where the artifact is? I'm not really sure. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter that much though. We can we can always get it later. I'm pretty sure. Now we want to go around here and around here. That's where the two are. Uh, that's where the two heavy chests are. So I guess I'm gonna go here first, then here, and then I think there's nomads here, because there's a hut. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Gonna take some time, but uh, it's fine. Oh. I remember now. We killed those, uh... We kind of killed those, uh, rebels. In this oasis here. Hello, Forest of Shadows. Hello, hello. It's a decent evening. It's not too hot, not too cold. We just started and... Uh, I'm... I'm pretty happy that we're gonna be going to Nordmar next. It's confusing to, to move around there. But... Uh, it feels like I'm making progress. And that's good. I like making progress. It's going to take some time to get to the ruins, though. Yeah, and around here is where... ...we get the experience points for discovering El Shadim. Some floating grass, that's fine. We should go this way. More or less along the road. That's a pretty tall building there. Where's the camera when I need one? Yeah, exactly. Some kind of better form of transportation. Because no matter what, either we teleport to uh, Bensala or to Morasul. Now this would probably be quicker to get, to get here, but it's probably around the same t amount of time. Oh, that was a miss. Okay. Oh, that was a miss. Okay. <sighs> yeah, at least the music's neat. That's true. Oh, oh. Okay, stop being like this. Okay, I collect stuff. Have I ever played Prince of Persia's Sands of Time? Yeah, that had a good soundtrack. And, uh, like, the one thing I remember the most of the game is the fact that I really liked the way that uh, your clothes get damaged during the game. As in, you see that the prince is spending time and he's being worn down. It doesn't matter much, but it's a nice thing that it happens. I mean, that's a lot of experience there, but I kind of don't really care to fight these ogres here. What's that, a gargoyle? Uh, it's gonna suck if it's two of them. I think it's just one. 
Oh yeah, you have to drink water to replenish health. That's also very neat. And I think those water fountains also served as a as a kind of a checkpoint, didn't they? Two sequels simplified clothing damage. I didn't play too much of Warrior Within. At least I don't remember playing it. I, I mean, I know I played it. I just don't remember playing it. If that makes sense. Where is that heavy chest? It's around here. Oh wait, there's a stone tablet. Nice. Oh hey! <laughs> Murder! Were you then had no clothing damage and the two thrones got rid of your shirt between two cutscenes? I do remember I liked two thrones quite a bit. I also remember I liked, uh... Oh, the heavy chest is probably down there. I also remember I liked the, uh... Which one was it? The 2013 Prince of Persia? The one that was supposed to have a sequel or DLC or something, but it didn't. Let me get down here. I'm gonna get you, stupid gargoyle. Nice. Come here. You're gonna die. Oh, shit. Let's... That's fine. Hey, where's my heavy chest? There it is. I think it... Yeah, it's a heavy chest. It's a Barbarian Battleax. Bonus, Orc Slayer. Oh, that's a pretty nice weapon then. Because it gives you Orc Slayer for free and it's a pretty good weapon. I mean, it's more or less at the other level of this Order Sword. But against the orcs, it's better. Okay. Oh, hey, what's this? Scroll of a scholar. Oh, oh, you mean there's gonna be more of these? There's probably gonna be more of these. And yeah, there's a lot more ancient knowledge. You can easily get a lot more ancient knowledge, it seems. Compared to other stuff, because we haven't put any learning points into it, but we have 103 points. Water drinking when, like, in the sense of time, lots of different sources of water organically placed through throughout the levels. Warrior within mostly just a bunch of identical sea fountains that also saved your game, but were a few other water sources. And the two thrones had save fountains only and zero alternative water sources. Wasn't there like a mechanic though? Uh, as in... I do vaguely remember... That in the two thrones, your evil alter ego was stopped by water, wasn't he? Or something similar? I haven't played it for a long time, so I'm not really 100% there, but... What do you Okay, this guy doesn't want to talk to us, but it seems like they're going to want to attack the, uh, the orcs here. Which we're going to help with, but... Uh...
Oh wow, there's so many of them here. Okay, gotcha. There were a few bottles that reverted you back to... from the Dark Prince, but you didn't drink from them. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, it's so much easier to fight with a one-handed weapon, because it seems like the enemy blocks less. Oh, another one of these. the main villain to hack his weakness was Wara, which is kind of a pussy weakness to be honest. Hey, are you dissing vampires? Because a vampire's Wara is also weakness. I mean, a vampire's weakness is also Wara. Oh, well, running Wara, but uh, you know what I mean. Oh, we got a key. Vampire is weak to regular water. No, no, a vampire is weak to running water, so a river is bad. But a pool, I like a swimming pool, is okay. At least, I think it was like that. Like that? I think we're gonna get another map around here. Also a lot of these guys. It would probably be better to get rid of them. Just because vampires have too many weaknesses, yep. Stabby. Also, I think we can, I think we can dig here. Aha! Chalice, some gold. Okay. A bullshit weakness is a weakness to a. Uh... To like religious symbolism, and I think I think there was like a movie that made fun of it, as in, oh, what was it? That like the vampire wasn't weak to the crucifix, so the main character or whatever took out a uh, a David Star because the vampire was a Jew and he was not a vampire, something like that. You gonna dance like this? What you gonna, what you gonna do, you stupid ogre? when sunlight merely weakens vampires instead of burning them to ashes. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I mean, obviously a vampire is an ancient, ancient creature. So it would it would probably live longer. There would be vampires that live longer than 2,000 years. At least it would make sense. 
for them to live that long. Some of them, the smart ones. And obvi obviously some of the symbolism, religious symbols, are not 2,000 years old. Or maybe around 2,000 years old. Oh, this is another place we can dig out. Three pieces of ore, jewelry. Okay. Not that we need the jewelry or the ore, but it's okay to have because we have a lot of it. Okay, what do we have? Heavy crossbow. Heavy crossbow. So this is just number thirty-eight. And it's better than what we have. A little bit, but it's better. Okay. Uh, very nice. So now we did this. There's one more heavy chest. In the temple itself. So we are going to be getting it. Wait, we do want to get here. Because this is where the nomads are. Together with uh, Saturus, I think. Hello, what's your name? It's Mixia. Okay. Hello, Mixia. Catherine, don't touch. All right, I'll be careful. I've spent hours bringing order to this chaos. You wouldn't believe how many ancient stone tablets and artifacts we find, and how much trouble it is to sort them all. But now, I have an overview. About those ancient artifacts. Oh, yes, yes. Most of it is useless crap. Recipes and love letters, that sort of thing. Uh-huh. Here. Oh, thighs. Oh, juicy thighs. <laughs> a love letter? A recipe. It oh. is old, but not useful knowledge. Tell me about useful ancient knowledge. Ancient knowledge is the key to ancient magic. Without that knowledge, you will never be able to learn the ancient spells. Stone tablets, artifacts, inscriptions, useful knowledge. It could be hidden anywhere. I Here, think I can give you these tablets. Oh nice. I think by the time we talk to him, if someone wanted to be using ancient magic, they already would have. They already would have. Okay. <laughs> yes! I have succeeded in deciphering some magic formulas. I will teach them to you if you like. Uh-huh. Do you sell some tablets? No. Just a major staff, a spear, a water robe, and coin. That's fine. Uh, oh, it did turn out that the Master Sword is not going to allow me to finish that one, uh, that one quest. So we can sell this, no problem. We can sell the Rhino Killer, because... Uh, we got a better spear. I mean, a uh, crossbow. Yeah, I meant crossbow. Of course I meant crossbow. We can sell these. We good? We can sell these three amulets. Two amulets. Uh, and a few rings too. Because we don't need more than two rings of each. And we don't need more than one amulet of each. Type. Uh... 
Do you know anything about the Fifth Temple? Ah, the lost one. 8013. I have what? compiled all the information on that. The short version, please. Fine. We believe there are five temples, and each one contains an artifact, correct? Yes. And so it should have been, but it was not so. Uh -huh. The final artifact, a ring, never made it to the temple. Fortunately for us, otherwise the whole story would come to a quick end. Where is this ring then? Who let me quote from another passage? Oh, that's gonna be in Nordmar, isn't it? But he went not to the temple, and his steps led him far from the land of his fathers. Does that mean he went north? That can be assumed, but we can only speculate on the reasons. Okay. What abilities does the Ring of Magic grant? Uh, it all happened some thousand years ago, and our records are sparse. It probably grants its wearer magical abilities. Where should I look for the ring? <gasps> look for it in the north. Perhaps the Fire Mages still have records. The temples of the Fire Mages have been destroyed. The monastery in Nordmar, too. Oh, but they have a library there. That's at the other end of the world. Uh-huh. Yes, it is a long way to walk. But you don't have to go there immediately. And I can teleport. Okay, please tell me this is the one that gives me knowledge. I already know no. that. No, okay. Maybe this one then? There's nothing oh, neither. Here. Oh, no, it is the third one. Uninteresting. Oh. They give me, they give me three tablets, like the big, big tablets, and then they don't give me knowledge. That's a shame. Oh wait, hello. Some tablet of the priests. Oh, uh, I see. So we're gonna be collecting the stone tablets of the priests, and we're gonna be collecting the scrolls of the scholars. I'm guessing there's gonna be like five of each. It's gonna suck, cause uh, I'm gonna have to pick it up. But after I clear all of the monsters, uh, just having... Just having telekinesis out is gonna help me quite a bit, so it's not a big problem. Oh, I bet it's... I bet this one teaches me stuff. But Saturus is gonna be a mess. You certainly took your time. Why didn't you come sooner? I... No excuses. We have great things planned and no time to waste on apologies. I will explain everything to you as best I can. Okay. How did you get away from the island? The Focus Stones performed one last service for us. We used them for a teleportation ritual. Unfortunately, we had to leave them behind in order to escape. We no longer have the stones. But our strongest weapon is our knowledge. And that is not lost. Okay. He can teach a lot of stuff. We could learn some life force still. What about the orcs? What about them? They certainly aren't here for the sunshine. They want to get the divine artifacts from the temple. And we cannot and will not permit that. So we will attack them? They won't go away voluntarily. So talk to Wutras. He knows what needs to be done. Wutras, okay. Now, I have 90 points. I know I need 30 for this, and 15 for this, and 10 for this. So we need like 55 points. Anything else doesn't really matter that much. These could be useful, but I think they are kind of expensive and not really vital. Because I have a lot of potions anyway. Oh, close to level up. So that means... I'm going to spend uh, 46 points on health. Good. Since we're going to get 11 in a second. What do I have to know? We are here in Al-Shadim, a temple city of the Ancient Ones. 
According to the inscriptions, the protector of the body was kept here. Sounds like armor. Armor, a robe, a garment, probably something of that sort. One thing is certain. It is one of the five artifacts that are necessary to... To what? We will talk about that later. First, find that armor. Okay. Where is the artifact? In the temple? Naturally. And have you already opened the temple? We have found out that you need five... Keys to open the temple? Correct. Please I just let him finish. One Nine less keys. ones. And the others? Hopefully they have survived the last millennium undamaged. Then I will go look for them. Any clues? I have marked a few places Ooh, nice. on this map. They are calculations based on where the first key was found. A lot can happen in a thousand years, so don't expect too much. Where did you find the key? Quite nearby, in a stone chest. Uh -huh. We are the priest's quarter here. Which is obvious from the architecture. The inscriptions and artifacts that we have found indicate it. What will happen when I open the temple? When the great flood swept across the land a thousand years ago, many people hid in the temple. The temple stood strong, surrounded by water. But no one ever came out alive. I mean, no I one ever came out, the so... the skeletons will be awakened by the strong magic. So you better take a big axe with you. Or ask Mixir about the artifact of the Guardians of the Dead. Ooh. He said something about that. Perhaps he can help you. Okay. Will you give me the key? It is better if I keep it until you have found the others. Okay. Mixer, there was something about uh, the art. Oh, oh. Uninteresting. Oh, no? Really? Aww. Well, we did get a map. A special map. I'm right here. And we got the key from here. Oh, there's that other one. Okay, maybe it's that one. Oh, you mixed here. There's supposed to be some kind of ritual of the dead. What about the artifact of the Guardians of the Dead? Guardians of the Dead? Guardians of the Dead? Oh, should be under AV-37. Ah, here. I quote, En Yargo, the Guardian descended into the crypt. Uh-huh. Get to the point. Here it is. He bore his, uh, his, uh, artifact, blessed with the power of the light and of life. Uh -huh. And gave peace to those who found no peace. Okay. And what is that supposed to mean? Uh, I think this may be something that is certainly of use to you. Oh, okay, but what's the artifact? Where do I get the artifact? I guess we can get a run here then. Oh, are you still breathing this piece of... The orcs are digging into the secrets of the ancient people of Enos. Whatever they may find, it will bring death. What are you gonna do? Satyrus said you would come. He asked us to support you. Okay. That is what I will do. I will support you with everything that I know. We must stop the orcs. Fine. I have positioned a few men behind the orcs' camp. Find them and tell them what we're planning. I will attack from here with my men. Okay. But you must give us a sign. No a problem. A sign? What sort Start of sign? Stop killing orcs. The best thing would be to attack the orc leader. Once they are distracted, we will attack. 